This is Darius McGee, and in this video we are going to take a deep dive into six skills and qualities that he uses to dominate the scoreboard as a sub-six-foot player in high-level basketball. Quality number one is that McGee is what I call a loose shooter, and I can't stress enough how important this is. When I say McGee is a loose shooter, what I mean is that he has the skill to get a clean shot off at any moment, no matter what direction his momentum is going in, how high or low he is, where he is in his dribble, or how deep he is. McGee is one of the best I have ever seen when it comes to shooting while moving backward. Keep that in mind because shooting while moving backward will be crucial when we get to skill number six. It's tied with a minute to go. McGee. McGee can shoot while moving in any direction because of his insane shooting balance. Whether he is standing upright or down low, moving left, right, forward, or backward, McGee is still able to shoot at a high clip. Practice shooting while moving violently in different directions and practice shooting at different levels and from different stances to develop this quality. McGee's dribble pickups are another component of being a loose shooter. You should develop your pickup speed by working on stuffing the ball and getting from different dribbles into shots as quickly as possible. Coach, I'm coming back. Shooting. McGee's advantage is amplified since he still has these skills from deep ranges. McGee's low set point and high elevation on shots let him generate enough power to shoot consistently from deep ranges, which stretches the defense and opens up the rest of his game. Out front from the half court strike, McGee, the three to beat. McGee spent his first few years at Liberty, honing his ability to move off the ball and shoot off the catch, which is the second major skill. McGee gets open running off a lot of flare screens and baseline exit screens within the Liberty offense to get open shots. The lesson here is that you should learn to use and shoot out of whatever sets your coach has for you, because that is a consistent source of high-quality shots you can get. Also, notice how McGee is usually hopping on the catch and elevating with balance. To McGee. He pumps a McGee hunts open shots without screens by penetrating and relocating to the perimeter. This gets the defense moving, and it's something that the greatest shooters in the world all do constantly. Once McGee has kicked the ball out, he finds open space around the perimeter to relocate for good shots. McGee just has a great feel for how to move off the ball to get high percentage looks. I have a separate video on this that will be in the end screen of this video. Able to find his teammate Van Sant. Back to McGee. Now that we've talked about McGee's shooting qualities, let's get into how he plays off the shot and gets downhill. McGee is usually deciding whether to drive or shoot right before the catch as he sees his defender in his peripheral vision. He doesn't wait for his defender to get comfortable before he takes off. Notice McGee's posture on these drives. See how he is almost falling forward through the drive. This lets him get to positive shin angles as he accelerates. When McGee drives and he's trying to get through gaps and avoid strips from help defenders, he does a great job of manipulating the ball to get through and using different pickups to keep the ball protected. 16. McGee. The fourth scoring quality that McGee has is that he is a strong and crafty finisher. Getting downhill doesn't mean anything if you can't finish. McGee makes up for his lack of length by aggressively hunting contact and making it difficult for the shot blocker to be the aggressor when he goes to finish. McGee is also a great athlete which helps a lot when meeting defenders in the air. Off the window, get to McGee is really good at finishing off of two feet. This is an important skill because it gives you more leverage when meeting a shot blocker in the air, and it also lets you pivot and work for a better finish or fadeaway. Here are two specific finishes that McGee uses a lot that you can work on. The first is a slide-by finish. These are great for avoiding shot blockers, changing your angle, or getting to the other side of the rim for an easier finish. McGee also uses a lot of inside hand finishes to sneak the ball in on his primary defender who is behind him. This is a finish that McGee will take off one foot to stretch out and get the finish off faster. If finishing is something you need to work on, there are a few affiliate links to pads and sticks along with other training tools in the description. It's a great way to support the work I do if any of those products pique your interest. You can't talk about high-level scoring as a guard without going over ball screens. If you are a ball-dominant guard at a high level, then chances are a significant amount of your points will come out of ball screens. Because of McGee's ability to pull up at any moment and shoot at a high clip, most teams tend to get over the screen and force him into high drop coverage so that he can't get easy threes off. This lets McGee be aggressive downhill out of screens. The reads that McGee makes out of ball screens are very simple. If he can reject and get to the paint, then he does. But if he uses the screen and the defense doesn't let him get a three off, he is either turning the corner or snaking. 
I would go as far as to say that most of the time that McGee comes off a ball screen, he is trying to snake back and attack the rim. The sixth and final quality that you should take from McGee is being efficient with your counters and scoring moves. McGee doesn't over dribble, and he's very efficient when trying to get to his spots. He uses simple two count and one count crossovers on the perimeter to get an angle and attack downhill, but the majority of the time he just uses a push cross to get downhill, because it is harder to steal, and it sends his dribble forward. Remember when I mentioned that McGee is one of the best I've ever seen when it comes to shooting while moving backward? This is where that comes into play. Backing up is McGee's best friend off the dribble. Whenever McGee is being pressured, he backs up to create space and makes a read to either shoot or drive, depending on whether the defender closes the space or not. For most of the season, McGee! He can do the same thing when moving downhill. When McGee thinks he is going to be cut off, he hits the brakes and backs up quickly. Deceleration should be your favorite tool as a shorter player, whether you're handling pressure or trying to create space for a shot. Right now Like the movement on Liberty. Darius steps back. McGee's solid shot balance comes into play again when he's using lateral step backs and side steps. These are necessary scoring moves to rep out as a shorter player. Fading away. <laughs> a method that McGee uses to create space with step backs is attacking the upper foot, then getting away as the defender flips. You know, as much as that's Bellerman not making shots, you know, that's Liberty just. Playing Liberty back. McGee, look at the attention he's drawing. Well, he, he better get some attention. Well, he's within range. The step back three. Oh, goodness! 43 for Darius McGee. If you want to learn how to score more points by playing smarter, watch this video.